I just have a few announcements to share with you, but with that, uh, as we're heading into summer, we've been talking about the fact that our city groups are going on break. Uh, those are our small groups here at the church where we really get into community and get to know each other. Um, but we have a lot of other ways for you to connect. And so one of the things that we wanted to really encourage you with today is that many of you have connected with each other during the past several months, during the spring, we had a bowling party. We had a Reds game that we, a lot of us uh, went together to. Uh, we had a men's retreat, a women's event. And so many people have said that they, they met new people, they got to know new people. And so we really just want to encourage you over the summer now, now that people are a little more laid back, schedules are hopefully a little less hectic, um, really want to encourage you to get uh, together with those that you've met. Uh, have dinner together, invite them to your house. Uh, get in their neighborhood, go to their neighborhood, uh, just spend time with one another because that's what the body of Christ is. And so really just want to encourage you with that. And we have a lot of different ways for you to get connected here during the summer. We've been encouraging you uh, in, to take one of the element classes that we have starting soon. Uh, there's a few of those. But I just wanted to take a minute to walk you through our church app. So if you have your smartphone, if you could pull that out, and click on the CTK app. If you don't have it, you can download that from uh, the App Store. But I want to just take you on a, uh, just for a minute, a brief walk through this, because this is really important. If you're wanting to get into community this summer at CTK, if you're wanting to grow in your faith, uh, there's so many different ways to do that, and the app has so much information. Uh, and so we just, it, the first thing I wanted to highlight was, if you open up the app, there's something called This Week. If you click on This Week, that gives you everything coming up for the Sunday. So if you click on there, it has the different songs that we're doing this morning during the worship service. You can actually listen to those in advance. It has our, uh, it has our liturgy. It has the scripture passage. It's really great to be able to know ahead of time and, and even to review after the week what was it that, that maybe God was speaking to you through that. And so all that information is available there. Then you have current sermon series. So if you click on there, you're going to get all the uh, videos and, and the audio of our current sermon series. That's really helpful when you're traveling during the summer. Maybe you missed a Sunday and you want to catch up. Uh, you can also go back and watch ones uh, that maybe you fell asleep during the sermon or something. So uh, there's just a lot of ways uh, to engage with that. And then we have the events. And so if you click on events... Uh, you can see there's a lot of different things happening this summer. There's uh, several Element Academy classes that we've been talking about. If you click on those, you'll be able to register for those. Uh, we have Saturate Saturdays. We have a family meeting in August. Um, and you're going to continue to see more things pop up on the app as well. The last thing, at the very bottom of the app, there's something that says Reading Plan. It's a really small emblem at the very bottom. But if you click on there... There's actually a daily reading plan that would take you through the Bible in a year. So it makes it really easy if you want to use the app. It's really easy to, to get involved, to, to know about what's going on here at the church, and to be able to study Scripture. So we really encourage you to take advantage of that.